guys! So I know it's a little late in the game, but I'm going to be doing my December favorites video. Um, to be honest, I kind of forgot about doing a December favorites um, until like just now. And I thought, why not share the things that I was loving in the month of December? Um, I'll go ahead and start with like TV shows. I literally have one because I like pretty much th from like October through most of December I was literally just binge watching Christmas movies on Hallmark because I'm one of those people. Um, but see my cousin recently gave me her Disney Plus login so that I can watch Disney Plus now and I'm so freaking stoked because you better believe as soon as the new Lizzie McGuire comes out I will be all over that. Um, so I've, I've just been obsessed with watching Lizzie McGuire for the past, I, I don't know how long now. Um, but I mean, that show was like my absolute favorite as a kid and it's just taking me back to my childhood. I just, I love Lizzie, I love Hilary Duff. That show is still, it's gold. Like it's still such a good show, even though I'm almost 30, like I still love it so much. So I've just basically been binge watching Lizzie McGuire and like nothing else. Um, but people keep telling me to check out the show You on Netflix. I hear a lot about that. So I do plan on checking that out soon. So maybe like once I actually get into like other shows and watch more movies and stuff, I'll make a whole separate video about like my favorite TV shows, you know, movies, music, stuff like that. But for right now, all I can say is Lizzie McGuire has been my favorite show as of late. Um, music wise, um, I don't have a whole lot to share with you. I haven't been listening to music as much lately. I mean, obviously through December, I mostly listened to Christmas music. Um, but my fiance kept telling me to check out Saint Asonia, which is Adam Gantier. I think that's how you say his last name. Um, he used to be the lead singer for Three Days Grace and Saint Asonia is now his band. Um, and for a while I refused to listen to it because I was like, no, Adam should be with Three Days Grace, you know, and I really will not listen to Three, Day Three Days Grace now because they have a new singer and literally Adam was Three Days Grace. Like you, you cannot beat Adam's voice. So I won't listen to Three Days Grace unless it's with Adam. Um, but I gave St. Asonia a try. And let me tell you, Adam is back. Now I'm talking about St. Asonia's newer stuff. I did listen to a couple of older songs that's on YouTube and Adam just, it wasn't like he wasn't at his best, but the song Beast by St. Asonia, look it up. It's like listening to Three Days Grace. Like Adam's voice is phenomenal. Again, he sounds like he's in his Three Days Grace days. Like he is amazing. I love it so much. I fully support that band now, and I really hope St. Asonia tours and, like, will come to St. Louis because I would love to see them. Um, fun fact, I don't know if I've ever mentioned it here, but I did meet Adam Gantier, Gantier, I don't know how to say his last name, um, at Point Fest one year, I almost said 20 years ago, 10 years ago, um, it was, there was, like, this little stage area like kind of next to like the big main stage where all the big main people were going to be like singing and performing and before the show every single band was getting interviewed I stood in one spot the entire day because I was waiting for Three Days Grace to get interviewed because I wanted to see Adam so bad I was literally like this close to Three Days Grace Papa Roach, Hollywood Undead, um, Story of the Year, like so many bands. All I really cared about was Three Days Grace. Obviously, I was like starstruck being that close to Papa Roach and Hollywood Undead as well. But when it came time for Three Days Grace to come out, they were the last band to get interviewed. And I literally stood in that spot for hours on end just waiting. Like my face was so red. I looked like a tomato. Um, but I was with my friend, and he, when Three Days Grace came out, like, they were being interviewed and stuff, and, like, towards the end, it was kind of, like, quiet for a minute, 
And my friend that I was with yelled to Adam because, like, he knew I was, like, there was no way I could, like, speak to Adam. I was too, like, starstruck and, like, in love. He was like, hey, Adam, she's been waiting here all day for you. Can she get a picture with you? My friend and several other people, like, lifted me up so that I could, like, stand on the little ledge. And I got a picture with Adam. I'm like, ooh. I love him so much. Um, I will try and add a picture right here just for proof and so you guys can see. Again, that was 10 years ago. Um, the only thing I could say to him was, I love you. <laughs> I was like so fangirling, but I had him sign my Three Days Grace t-shirt that I had and my phone case. I don't know why I had him sign my phone case. I just like, I just wanted to be there with him. I wanted to, I, his head touched my head, guys, like in that picture. Okay, that's not what this video is about. Anyway, so St. Asonia, great band. I'm so glad I gave them a listen. Listen to the song Beast. If you guys are fans of Three Days Grace and you love Adam's voice, check that song out. It has become one of my favorite songs. And on Amazon, I, I usually listen to all my music on Amazon Music instead of Spotify anymore. But for the song Beast, you actually had to pay for it. It wasn't one of the free songs. Um, some of St. Nasonia's stuff is free, like their older stuff. But there's newer stuff you have to pay for, which sucks. It's so annoying. I hate when they do that. But it was only $1.29, and I loved the song so much that I paid for it. And I will listen to that song on repeat over and over and over. Let's get into the rest of this video. This is not just about Adam and Three Days Grace. I just wanted to say that that is now, like, they're becoming one of my favorite bands. And that is definitely my new favorite song. Um, I don't have a lot of makeup to share with you guys because I don't want to repeat a lot of stuff from my November favorites video. Um, but I will go ahead and say that this lip pop that I'm wearing... Um, became one of my favorites because I wore it several times in several of my past videos and I just love the way it looks. I feel like red is so classy. It goes with a lot of different looks. Like I just have like a neutral, you know, color on my eyes right now. And this is just the AOA Studio Lip Pop in Daredevil. Um, I just, I really like the color and it's easy to apply. Um, when I was not using my CoverGirl Healthy Elixir Foundation, I was always reaching for my Physician's Formula, the Healthy Foundation. So this has just always been one of my favorites and go-tos. Um, I will always love this foundation. But as you guys know, I've got a lot of foundations to test out for you guys. So I may come across some more favorites that may be in some future favorites videos. We will see. Um... And as you've noticed, I'm not wearing bright pink eyeshadow. I've ventured out. I'm trying to try new looks. I'm trying to try more neutral looks just because, like, I never really did that before. Once I started wearing makeup, I would wear black eyeshadow. I still love wearing black eyeshadow. Um, and then I got into, like, purple and then pinks. And I just really liked bold eye looks. But I've just been trying to tone it down like here and there so I'm not always wearing a bold eye. So I just went back to my Revealed palette, or my Revealed 2 palette by Coastal Scents. I've had this thing forever. Um, but what I like to do is take this shade and just put it all over my crease. And then take this shade and just rub it all over my lid. That's not what I'm wearing today. I'm actually wearing my little Physicians Formula Quad on my eyes yet again. Um, but I've been doing that a lot lately with this palette, and I really love this palette because you can do such a subtle, you know, everyday look, or you can go bold. There's so many different, like, options in this palette. Um, I just, I really, really do love this. I don't care how old it is. It's one of my favorites. Um, that is all the makeup I have to share with you. Now I'll get into skincare because in my November favorites video, I showed you guys all of that skincare that I purchased um, because I was like starting a skincare regimen. Now I'm not saying I don't like any of that stuff anymore, but I think I've moved on. I will use that stuff, don't get me wrong, but I found stuff that actually makes my skin feel amazing 
after I use it. Like when I would use the other stuff, I didn't feel a difference in my skin. I didn't feel like it made my skin feel good or hydrated or plump or anything like that. But with these products, I swear to you, like, I feel like it's transforming my skin. So these are all of my all-time favorite skincare products. Now, these two little things I'm going to show you are just trial sizes that I got from Ipsy Bags, but I do plan to buy the full sizes at some point, even though I looked them up just a little bit ago, and both of these are like $24 for the full size, but I will get them because I love them. Um, so my new favorite cleanser is the It Cosmetics Confident in a Cleanser. Um, again, it's tiny. I probably only have one, maybe two uses left of this, which is really sad because I can't afford to purchase the full size at the moment. Um, and this Be Fine Food Skincare Exfoliating Cleanser with Brown Sugar, Sweet Almond, and Oats has definitely become like my all-time favorite facial scrub because it seriously, I mean like it scrubs the crap out of my face. Like like no other scrub has before. This is phenomenal. Like I said, it's like $24 for the full size. Um, I, I don't care. I have to have it. And I'm really loving the, the confidence in a cleanser as well. So these are going to be two staples that like I absolutely have to have because they make my face feel great. So after I'm done with these two steps, I go in with the Super Aqua Ultra Waterfall Active toner. Now I know I did just show this to you guys, um, but um, now I don't use a cotton swab for this like I was with like the gold toner. Uh, what I've just been doing is just like pouring it into my hand and um, just rubbing it all over my face. But like something about this, I don't know what it is. I think it's slightly thicker than like the gold infused toner I was using before. So it just feels amazing going onto my skin. I, I can't say enough good things about this. Um, I was wrong. I thought I paid $9.99 for it. And maybe I did if Amazon had a sale that day. Um, but when I linked it, the price for this is $14.99. But I highly, highly recommend it. It comes in a nice glass bottle. You get... Um, 5.07 fluid ounces, like you get a lot. This will last me a while. And like I said, it really does make my face feel really, really nice. And then I am so glad I picked up this serum because that vitamin C serum, I don't hate it. It just wasn't doing it for me. Like I said, I would spray it into my hand and it was like just so liquidy, like it was water. I did not like that. This serum is thicker and it feels like I'm putting on a hydrating moisturizing like serum I mean it is a serum I didn't want to say lotion because it's not like a lotion at all um, but I'm just I really really like this Mediheal intensive hydrating serum um, I feel like the combo of these two after cleansing and exfoliating my face really make my face feel clean and smooth and plump and like fresh and amazing. It's it's an amazing feeling. I've never experienced anything like this. Um, and then again, I don't dislike the eye cream I was using before. I just sort of kind of packed it away. So I've just been using the Super Aqua Ultra Waterfall Eye Treatment. Um, and I do really like this as well. It is the same brand as the toner. It's the Misha brand. Um, but again, I want to try and just keep this for like my daytime eye cream and use the other one as my nighttime eye cream. It's just packed away and I haven't felt like digging it out right now. So I've just been using that for now. Um, and then again, this is my nighttime moisturizer that I, I really love. I highly recommend it. It is the Hydrogenius for extra dry skin. And mine has definitely gotten so much lower than the last time I showed you guys. But I did just repurchase this on eBay um, because they have it on eBay for like... 
eight something dollars, which is where I got it for my cousin because she was having problems with her skin. Um, the only thing though is that it says the seller is away right now, so I don't know how long it's going to take for me to get my new one, but I hope it doesn't take too long because I don't know how much longer this is going to last me. <laughs> um, this was in my last favorites video, but it really is like a wonderful product. It is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in Berry. I put this on every night after I do my skincare. It's really, really nice. I eventually want to try the vanilla scent, but um, I mean, I'm not even close to being out of this whatsoever. Uh, like it is, there is still so much product in there. So I don't need a new one. I don't need to get the vanilla one right now. But when I get low on this, I think maybe I'll try the vanilla one. Um, and then I do have to add this in there. I know I've talked about this many times on my channel, the Eugener, Eugener Um, Because after I do my whole skincare routine, I will go ahead and go in with this on like the spots of my psoriasis. Um, like right here, you can tell it's going away since I've been putting this stuff on. I've had like this little dry spot right here and over here. Um... And then, oh, it's hard to see, but right over here, you can kind of see it. Um, so I go in with this after doing my whole skincare routine. So this is part of my skincare routine. I will always recommend this stuff to anybody with psoriasis or even like eczema and stuff like that because this does wonders. It doesn't take long to make whatever like disappear and go away. But you do need to keep using it. Uh, like even when the spots clear you need to keep using it otherwise like it will start to come back and then you kind of have to like start all over again i've learned my lesson with that um okay random favorites um i actually got this as a birthday present when i was pregnant from my fiance um he got me a nintendo 3dx ds xl um and I just, it, I, I love video games, um, and right now Mario Kart 7 is in here because my son loves to play that game, but I've actually been addicted to a game that I got my son for Christmas this year, and it's called, um, what is it called? It's like Need for Speed um, on the PlayStation where you're like, you know, racing and then running from the cops and stuff like that. I just, I've always liked racing games, so I've been addicted to playing that on this. So this is always needing to be charged now, especially since my son loves to play it now. Um, but of course I, I love playing like my Mario games. I have so many games for that thing. I need to like go through and maybe purge some of them and maybe try and resell them because I haven't, I haven't been playing them unless my son will get into those games. Like right now, all he cares about is the Mario game, um, but whatever. Um, a snack that I discovered in December that I've been still craving are these Snack Factory pretzel chips. So they're white chocolate coated pretzel crisps with peppermint sprinkled on them. I am not a huge fan of peppermint, but when I tried these, like, I was just drawn to them when I went in QT one day, so I grabbed them. They taste, even though they're pretzels, they taste like Thin Mints, and Thin Mint has always been one of my favorite Girl Scout cookies, so these are so good, but you get, like, that little bit of, like, saltiness with the pretzel, but you still get the sweetness with the chocolate and then the peppermint. So, I don't know. I look at it as like I'm eating freaking Girl Scout cookies, even though I'm not. But these are so good. QT still has them. And they even have it with milk chocolate as well. But I prefer white chocolate. Um, I have not tried the milk chocolate ones, but my mom has. And she really likes them. Um, I'm going to show you my favorite pair of shoes. They're fairly old now. I'm pretty sure I got them either before my son was born or after he was born, but like when he was really young. They're starting to fall apart, but they've lasted me this long, and I just have to like shout them out because I love them so much, and I wear them all the time, and they're so comfortable, and they're so cute. They're my Pumas that are like cheetah print, and I did get those like elastic shoelace um 
things so that I wouldn't have to keep tying my shoes. Um, but they're just the most comfortable freaking Pumas I've ever owned. Um, like, you can tell, like, right here, it's starting to get, like, a little hole because I've worn the crap out of these. I love them so much. I will wear them until they completely fall apart. But, like, I just, I love the cheetah print. I love the little pink accent. They're mostly black and gray and will go with anything. I wear these on the daily. Um, like this one, you can see the hole is slightly um, bigger right there. I'm not ready to give them up. And I've tried looking for them online. I can't find any Pumas that look exactly like this. Now, I did buy these from Ross. I don't know where Ross gets their stuff from, but I've tried searching for these shoes online because I would love to have a new pair of these exact shoes, and I can't find them. I hope one day that I can because I really want a replacement pair of those, but I don't know if I'll ever be able to. I don't think Ross would ever get them again because they had them so many years ago, but one could hope. And then I do have to shout these out again because um, I've pretty much worn them all through November when I got them and all through December. <laughs> They're those little like ankle style Ugg type boots that I got off of Amazon. The brand is Clipley. I know it's going to be backwards, but that's the little brand name, but they're so comfortable. I love them so much. I wear them around the house. I wear them out. They're just so versatile. <laughs> um, okay. I don't know how I haven't shouted this out before because I think I had my friend make this over the summer for me. <sighs> now, I need to drink more water. I know this. Nobody needs to tell me this. Um, but I had my friend make me a tumbler because you know how everybody's into making tumblers and like shirts and stuff now. Like I had one of my other friends make me this like St. Louis blues with the Cardinal logo also um, on it. I had her make me this shirt and then had my other friend make me this tumbler. It is the best tumbler I've ever seen in my entire life. It is my Lucy tumbler. So I asked her to do like red glitter on the bottom and white glitter up top with Lucy's like face right here and she added like extra little red hearts. And the, on the back, it says, I love Lucy. Like, you would think this would, like, motivate me to drink more water. Sadly, it hasn't. I don't know why. Like, I love this so much. I just, I'm just not a water drinker. But, like, this year, I plan to drink more water. Like, I need to. My body needs the water. But I'm, I'm pretty much made up of Dr. Pepper. I know that's not good for me. But, um... I'm actually planning on going upstairs, rinsing this out, filling it with some ice and some cold water, and sipping on some water tonight. But look at how freaking pretty this is. Look at how amazing of a job she did. It is so pretty. Oh, my God. And if you, like, really know me, you know my love for Lucy is strong. Like, I will... I will love her till the day I die because I've loved her since the day I was born. Um, this has become one of my favorites. I got this off of Thread Up, and um, I've recently just been wearing the crap out of it. It is just this. Now, it's from Thread Up, but I know the brand is a Walmart brand, and I didn't think Thread Up would sell Walmart branded stuff, but I guess as long as it's in good condition, they'll sell it. It's just like this, one of those super comfy, like, soft material, like, hoodies. Um, and it's just this print, and it's just super, extremely soft and comfy and cozy, and I love it so much. Um, so I had to share that with you guys. Oh my god, it is so soft. Like, I want to use it for my pillow. Um, you guys did just recently see this in my What I Got for Christmas video, but... They are two of my favorite shirts that I've ever received in my life, so here they are again. My Dawson's Creek shirt from my sister. Love it so much. And of course, my We Were On A Break shirt 
because Friends is one of the greatest shows of all times. You can fight me on that if you disagree. Um, but this is just seriously one of the comfiest sweatshirts I've worn in my entire life. And I also have to mention my planner slash journal again, just because I really have been keeping up with using it. Um, I just love it so much. Like, you know, right here, it's, it says set 50 goals in all areas of your life. So I've set like, this is like a list of like 50 goals that like, I would want to achieve, I guess, like in my lifetime. I don't think it's just for like this year or anything. But it's just so cool that there's like, you know, you can keep yourself accountable for your goals with this planner and it's like a journal. Like, I really, really like this. Um, if I remember, I will try and link this down below. It's from Amazon. They have different colors. I got my best friend the same journal, but hers is in like a turquoise color and mine is like this pinky rose goldy color. Um... But, like, here is my January, like, calendar. I wrote, like, pack for, like, the next several days there. This, I put, like, video ideas that I want to get done and stuff like that. And then, I mean, you can see, like, these are from weeks past that, like, I mean, I really... <sighs> Sorry. Um, I really do, like, keep up with, like, filling this out. I'll even add, like, cute little stickers, like, TGIF, Selfie Saturday, Sunday, um, Sunday Fun Day. And now we're on to here, and then up here at the top, it says... Uh, like, you can put, like, this week's focus. So what I wrote was packing and videos. So I need to get a lot of packing done, and I want to get as many videos done as I possibly possibly can while I'm still in this house. And then, um, like, you can write five things um, that will make you feel good. So mine, like, they might sound silly to other people, but I put paint my nails because clearly I uh, need to repaint these, and it will make me feel good. Um, film videos, because I always feel good when I film videos. Um, journal and write to my dad. I I have a journal that I keep that I write to my dad in. Um, I don't think that's unheard of, but some people might think that sounds weird. Um, but my brother's fiance told me that when her dad passed away, that she kept a journal where she would write to her dad. And... Um, it just kind of helped her cope with the loss, and um, I do talk to my dad, like, you know, when I know I'm alone, like, I'll sit here and talk to him, like, I'm having a conversation with him, or, like, telling him I miss him and stuff, but, like, I like being able to write to him, but I feel like he can read it. I, it sounds weird, but that's, that's one thing I wrote down, um, and then I wrote play with Alden, because it always makes me feel good to play with Alden, of course. Um, and I put cook dinner just because I do always feel good when I cook dinner for my family. I love cooking. Um, and then on the other side of that, it says this week's priority. And it was pretty much like the same thing. Film videos, cook dinner, pack boxes. And I wrote dye my hair. And I think that's just because I know that I have a box hair dye sitting around. And before I go back to Jeremy's house, I might want to just dye my hair. I'm not hating the way my hair looks right now, but I have a, a box of black hair dye, and I do kind of miss my black hair. It fades fairly quickly anyway, so my hair won't be black forever, but I do miss my really dark hair, so we'll see if I do that or not. Um, and yeah, so I just need to go through and fill out, like, what I need to get done Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, but I've got, like, the first half of the week filled out and everything. I just really, really do enjoy this um, journal. It did come with stickers. I probably showed you guys before, but I'm just going to show you again really quickly. Um, you know, like important shopping, um, books to read, urgent victories, ideas, um, and then, you know, just, like, 
birthday, if you have to, like, call somebody, shopping, dinner, stuff like that. Um, again, like, for cleaning doctors, take medicine, go grocery shopping. Same with this. And then these are just, like, kind of, uh, you know, like, you can do it and uh, do awesome things. Believe in yourself. Like, nice, happy little stickers that it came with. Um, so yeah, this is definitely one of my most favorite things of all because I actually have been sticking to using it. Like, because it's so fun to fill out and there's different sections in here where you can write your goals down that you want to do and achieve and stuff like that. And it kind of helps you, like, it keeps you accountable for that stuff. Like, it makes it so much easier to use this over a regular planner. Um, so I highly recommend this. Like I said, I will try and link this down below for you guys. Um, but yeah, that was like all of my December favorites. I'm sorry this is so late. I know it's already January 8th, but um, better late than never. So yeah, that was my December favorites. I'm sorry the video is so long. Please excuse me. I know last night my video was like 30 minutes long. I never mean for them to be that long. I apologize. Um, but I'm going to try and move on to the next video, so I will see you guys very shortly. Bye!